I mean, because you remember what they told us. Obama's a genius. Oh, you, I, I couldn't possibly understand his genius. He's playing three-dimensional chess. So I was browsing YouTube, and I came across this incredible clip from MSNBC from 2010. Now, I think you guys are really going to enjoy this. I'll link to the full clip below if you want to watch the entire thing. But I'm going to cut some parts out of this and just show you how incredible it is that this conversation was taking place on MSNBC. If you watch MSNBC now, you will never, never hear this conversation. So this is going to be Dylan Radigan, Cenk Uger, and Glenn Greenwald. Three fairly progressive people discussing what happened to the Democratic Party after they just lost the House in 2010. Uh, how much longer can it be taken? How much longer can people with an agenda like uh, the sort of things that you advocate for, Jenk, that you advocate for, Glenn, continue to look to this political structure to do it and this president and this party to do it, Jenk? At the end of the election, I said, that's it. I'm done. End of this, okay? Now, I was never really one of the guys who uh, supported the White House for the sake of supporting the White House. In fact, I got a lot of heat for that, right? I remember. Because I challenged the government, That's and I think that's part of the job of the media. I know Glenn does as well. But after the elections, even even if you were on that side, really? I mean, because you remember what they told us. Obama's a genius. Oh, you, I, I couldn't possibly understand his genius. He's playing three-dimensional chess. Oh, what, what part of three-dimensional chess do you give away your queen, your knight, your bishop, and the House of Representatives? No, they were wrong. We were right. It's time to fight. How amazing is that? How amazing is that? This is on MSNBC. This is on cable news. Talking against the Democrats for good reason, not just shitting on them for some stupid corporate reason, shitting on them because they fucked up, because Obama campaigned on a hopeful progressive message, got in, and then just kept giving in to Republicans. Remember, this is, in, in 2010, they lost the House. Before this, Democrats had a majority, and they were not pushing progressive legislation through, and there's more clips that'll get into that. But just, just as a primer, that alone, somebody, a, a progressive, a liberal on the channel talking out against Barack Obama for a legitimate reason. Let's get to the next clip. But I think this election actually reveals some leverage, which is one of the reasons why the Democrats got destroyed is because the base of the party, the people who put the Democrats in power in the last two elections, didn't bother to go and vote. And the reason they didn't bother and go and vote is because they weren't given a reason why they thought it was worthwhile. That is leverage. That's telling the Democrats you will be out of power, not just in the House of Representatives, but in the Senate and the White House, if you continue on this path. Let me add one other thing. Look, I, one thing I object to, actually, is that, you know, the, the idea that it's the far left that's that's or, the, or even the base you mean the characterization right. as the far left right look at the, the country overwhelmingly agrees on certain things one was the public option even a majority of republicans in some polls were in favor of the public option because we know the health insurance companies are robbing us and we don't have a choice so we all want a choice right huge majorities for that the white house ignores it and then going after the banks god the whole country agreed with going after the banks and we didn't do it Which, so why didn't you do it? does he not want the votes of a great majority of the country a host on msnbc talking about how obama didn't go hard enough against the banks true how obama didn't push the public option true you don't see this kind of talk on the so-called liberal msnbc msnbc isn't liberal they're corporate they're establishment just like cnn they don't have a left or right bias they have an establishment bias a corporate bias they're not going to push these ideas that benefit the poor and middle class because it doesn't benefit who runs these corporations. This sort of conversation only takes place online now. You don't see this on television. And that's a large part of the reason that they've lost so many viewers. And MSNBC keeps trying to attract more conservative viewers. You know, they just gave Nicole Wallace her own show. Nicole Wallace, who worked for George Bush. Nicole Wallace, who's been wrong about practically everything since the beginning of time. Nicole Wallace 
is going to have a show on MSNBC at 4 p.m. Oh, but don't worry. Then it'll get really progressive with Greta Van Susteren at 6 p.m. Nicole Wallace. Greta. And what happened to the progressives on the network? Rachel Maddow. What happened? Rachel Maddow is so focused on Russia that she can't see that she's no longer a progressive. She used to fight the Democratic Party. Fight them to be better. That's why Jenk is not on here to shit on Democrats for no reason. He's talking about it because he wants them to be a better party. He wants them to get more voters. Just like he said, why does Obama want their votes? You prosecute Wall Street, you get more support. More people would vote for you. But the so-called progressives on the network that are left are so afraid to talk about the faults of Democrats that they're losing their viewers. Losing their viewers and misinforming the country. And people can see it. That's why people are going online. Let's get to some more clips here, because this stuff is just, it's too good to, to not share some more. So let's go to, uh, let's see what this is. But I, I, I think that, and I, that the answer to why he didn't do it is the obvious one, which is that 40% of all money for political functionality comes from banks. The next biggest contributor for all political functionality, all campaign money, comes from the health care insurance companies and insurance monopoly. We functionally have, Glenn, a government that is not Democrats, Republicans, but that is six major industries that provide all of the capital, most of it coming from health care and finance, energy, defense, not far behind. And as a result, the politicians work to perpetuate those old interests. To your point, everybody would like to see more choice, more competition, but they don't get it because the politicians are more happy to work for those who write the checks at the expense of the balance of our country. How much longer can it be gotten away with? Look at that. That's exactly right. This is MSNBC. Did you watch MSNBC back then? Did you see how this, when it was an actual channel? Because if you watch it now, this is unrecognizable. This is not talked about at all. They never talk about money in politics. Whenever it's brought up, they quickly move on to the next topic because they don't want to get into it. That line that Dylan, Dylan, that line that Dylan Radigan just went through about how big banks, uh, healthcare industry, big oil, how they're buying these politicians, that is not talked about on any cable network station. And MSNBC is supposed to be the liberal network. At least that's what they were. They're not that anymore at all. They're, they're CNN light. I really don't know what's going on with them because they have lost every strong progressive host. And the one that's still there, Maddow, isn't really that progressive anymore. I mean, this is exactly why they've lost their viewers. If you want journalists that speak truth to power, you go online. 